Well, hey guys, Scott with BWSR Bushcraft. What I wanted to do today was show you this redneck chicken wire stretcher I made. So, I'm going to be stretching three feet wide of chicken wire. Um, so, this, this stick here, it's like a two by two I had laying around. Um, I had that eyelet laying around. I had to unfortunately purchase these hooks. Um, so, I took the two by two and just centered everything up and screwed it in there. Um, what I'm going to do now is I just wanted to show you how this looked in, in the raw. I'm going to take some black electrical tape and wrap it here and here just, just to hold it together and I'll show you a picture of that and then uh, we'll go out and give it a go. Okay, so now we're out here in the field. I got the redneck chicken wire stretcher here. Um, get in the shadow here so you can see. It's kind of running down the poles. Got it hooked to the lawn tractor. So I kind of had to dig a little bit here because I got a really kind of off the wall grade here. But yeah, so far it's doing pretty good. So I got to dig just a little bit more down here. And then uh, um, that pole there doesn't have any staples, no staples. And then. Uh, this right here has got the staples, so we can kind of get it and see both sons and my eyes. You can kind of see how this is going to go. This here is the end post. I'll tack it in. See that one down there is the end post too. Um, but I'm going to tack it in and I'm going to stretch it. And then I will just come back and tack it here. I've got some probably 12 inch stakes, just plastic, that I'll end up sticking down in here into the dirt but uh yeah this grade is uh i leveled it the best that i could really kind of difficult i mean because i don't have a tractor because otherwise i would have just leveled the whole thing out but uh you know you just work with what you got and i think it's going to turn out pretty good let's kind of give you a view of everything i got so far see not too bad i think so I'm going to get stretching and finagle a little bit. i got to dig, like I say, more down here because I, I need this to kind of slide. And I'm trying to get the bottom down here to sink it. And then I can, from, from, this, pole, from this pole on down, it's, it's not bad, the grade. It's just right really in here. So, uh, yeah, I put, oh, I put the black tape around here. Just to give it a little more, I don't know, maybe just keep the wood from splitting, cover that up. So, all right, I'm going to get stretching, and after I get it tacked, I'll uh, be right. back. It's probably close to 4 p.m. It's, it's taking me a while to get this thing arranged. So, got it stretched. Um, got a little bit of a fix right here, which eh, I kind of sort of expected. Um, it, it's just got a bow to it, you see? right here so all i gotta do is just loosen this top and stretch it around that's that's all it is um but to me this looks good especially considering i'm using three foot it's all i could get and i'm gonna put three more foot to, to make it six ideally i would have loved to have gotten six foot it's just i couldn't do it at the time that i had the the resources and the money to do it um so It'll, it'll be fine. It, it'll, it'll turn out really nice. Um, so, yeah, you can see it's kind of loose. Uh, just that's easy to fix. Uh, I kind of want to show you a little something here. I'm using Vincent pliers. Uh, I just want to show you something. All right, get on this side, boy. Whew, getting late. Um, let me set these things down. I, I'm, I'm, I'm nailing upside down. So... You see how this has got a high side and a low side right there? What you want to do, I can't nail this because I've only got one hand. I'm upside down here. You want to put your high side facing up. That way, let's see if I can get this here. Yeah, you want to get your... Sorry about that, guys. Kind of upside down. And, uh, here, okay. So... You, you, you're gonna take and you're gonna take this high side 
and you would put it here facing up. Then when I hammer it, it's going to go in straight. If I take and I put the high side down, you see, it, it's it's just doesn't seem to work right. Oh, there goes the, the staple. So, at any rate, just to throw that out there, um, it works really well, um, especially if you're nailing over the fence. <laughs> and that's what I've had to do on uh, a bit of this. Let's take a look real quick here. See, you can you can see that bow. See the bow? That'll come out. That's easy enough to fix. Um, simple enough. It's just a little bit loose. I'll unstitch this, stretch that around, and then when I put the top piece on, what I'm going to do is I've got, I think, some 20 gauge wire. I'm going to sew this into it. So I'll take and I'll overlap it um, by, by, this is one inch, I'll, I'll, I'll overlap it and then I'm just going to sew it all in there and it'll just, it'll make it a really solid, uh, solid piece. I kind of had to ditch things out a little bit here, which is fine. Um, I just took some silver line, I haven't got this in yet, uh, silver, or excuse me, um, Orange. I don't know if you can see that. I got a sun in my eyes here. Um, it's 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 the orange uh, string, and uh, just wrapped around here at three foot. Remember, this is all pretty well, pretty much rednecked anyway. All these are the poles that came from the the pine tree that was cut down. This I don't know. This was a big branch that fell down probably about a month ago. That thing is heavy. And uh, so I stuck it in as the end post, and it's rock solid. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today's little adventure on uh, how to make a redneck chicken wire stretcher. Um, it's really pretty simple. You want to use the come along. You don't want to just hook it up to your tractor with a chain and pull it because you just you don't have any fine control. And then uh, again, I'm going to take and put some. Some just stakes, you know. I'll, I'll probably do another video once I get it all done. And but yeah, see this. Once I get it, these this will be staked in, and then this, when I get the top piece, this will pull up and make it nice. But if this was six foot, I wouldn't have this problem. But got to do with what you got, right? All right, guys. Well, till next time. It's been Scott with BWSR Bushcraft. Pack light, pack tight, stay hydrated. Thank you.